But Mike Wansley, a.k.a. Wands, the past year has been spent on airplanes, buses, and hotel rooms at some of the biggest and most prestigious stages in the world. Wands is the guy who sang what became the most popular hook on the planet and has now been rewarded with a Grammy nomination for Thrift Shop. Off Macklemore and Ryan Lewis mega selling uh, record, the height. Ma- make that two. Two, two Grammy, two Grammy nomin- nominations. Yeah. I'm wow. sorry. I thought you were giving me the peace sign. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't even realize. And but who's counting? <laughs> last week last week was typical for once. Three sold out key arena shows. A quick jet to New York to play a packed Madison Square Garden and watch Miley T- Cyrus twerk. Then back to Seattle. The next night for Children's Hospital benefit uh, because he does lots of great work. Millions will see him on Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve and performing at the Grammys. Really? <laughs> but first, Wands is going to lend his time and talent to perform as part of an acoustic Christmas this Saturday evening in Ballard with some other uh, great artists mm-hmm. that we know and love. Audra Brew, Chris Orlowski, uh, Hollis oh, Wong Ware, tons and tons. All right. Hollis! We'll put all the ticket information and a list of additional artists at BobRivers.com. Wands, welcome back. Hey, what's happening? You look good. Oh, well, I got it to keep up with you people. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> dude, really? 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 You know, some people, though, when things are going really well, they look a little road weary, mm-hmm. and you feel for their schedule and how hard they're working. Mm-hmm. You look fresher even than the last time I saw you. I don't know what that means. That means I'm smart enough not to drive the bus. I'm smart to stay in my rack and go to bed. And, right. You know, it's like after show. It's like. It was pretty funny because I rode with the I rode with the production crew with with a lot of the video guys and 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 a lot of the audio guys just because they were it was number one it was all guys number two they were seasoned they knew what they were doing and um, I had never toured for real before all this stuff popped off so it's like you know how best to learn than to hang out with cats who do it right, right. so Survive. you were yeah so you were uh, uh, so wait a minute you had a choice you could be on a different bus or a, or a bus with the I, video I was, crew I was offered a, you know there were other circumstances how many buses are there in the Macklemore well, entourage well there were seven buses and yeah, five that's good. trucks which one had a hot tub on it none of them had a truck mm-hmm. and had a hot tub but Ryan's bus had a studio Wow. Oh, a studio for recording, so you yep. could do stuff while you're on the road. Yep. Smart and very easy these days to do. So you wanted to ride with the veterans. Yep. Because you're, you're fascinated by this whole mega touring thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. still pretty starry-eyed about it. Wow. I, it's like what did it, you learn from these guys? Well, uh, what I learned is, is you know, it, you have to pace yourself. All these guys, pay, you know, during the European tour, it was, it was a little different. Where you know there are there are guys that actually hang all the all the trusses that the lights go on, those are the riggers. They go in first. They usually go in about seven thirty. The video guys who per, put the video wall together, they go in next, and they usually go in at about ten, eight thirty nine. Yeah, about nine or ten. And then the audio guys go in. They hang the PA. The stage people come in pretty much at the same time. And by noon, you know the stage is pretty much put together. And then it's a matter of plugging everything in, making sure it all works, and that takes about till four o'clock. We have sound check at five, dinner at six, and doors open usually at between and six so and you, seven. And so you, you almost like an architect would. You like seeing the whole structure of it's, how it's put together. It's amazing. I mean, for anybody who's seen pictures of the of the set, I mean, five trucks is five semis is a lot. There's yeah, a lot of stuff. And it's the right? same setup every time, but each venue probably poses a unique S- challenge. Right? Some venues are smaller than others, right. and some some roofs. Don't, is it like a carry. giant erector set? But each time, each kid's bedroom, you have to put it in, put it up slightly differently to Pretty fit much. under the furniture, right? Pretty much. Yeah, and and now you don't do the work. No, no, no. Those are skilled. Those are skilled guys. I mean, there's uh, the production manager. He's been doing it for 18 years. Figuring. Are you out smiling what all day while you're watching the giant stage go up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, I've got I've got pictures that I don't post. Usually, I try to post at least one picture where, where you know, mm-hmm. before show when everything's getting put together, just simply because I have to remember that I can't believe I'm here doing this. You just have like a childlike wonderment, it's dude. Great. It's yeah. like I've I've I think people really underestimate how long forty years of dreaming about doing something. Yes. It's like you know when, yeah. you're, when we're kids. When we're kids, we play street. Fo- we're playing street football. Yeah, and it's like you know, there's five seconds left, and I'm in the split out, and the guy throws me the ball. Three, two, one, touchdown! Yeah. So you're, Everyone's cheering for one. Right. Yeah, there's a, yeah. yeah the, there's a you know, it's like you dream about that stuff when you're playing street football, and when you're you know eight and nine years old. But it takes on a whole new meaning when you're in high school, or when you're in college, or when you're in the NFL. 
and you are the guy that they're throwing the ball right. to, and you're winning the game. You're so you're a journeyman musician, yep. and you never expected to be in the big game, to call it like the Super Bowl. You never expected to be in the big game, uh, you, but you still, for the love of music, love music and worked and gave your whole life to music. No, 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 no. I always expected it because... You did uh, expect it. I expected it because from Lake Louise Elementary School, Mann Junior High, Lakes High School, everyone said, that's what you're going to do. So you never quit expecting it. You just basically was, what's taking so long? I did expect. Yeah. I did I, I did quit expecting in like a 2008, 2009. Just before it came. I, I, you know, there was, I, I was convinced there's no such thing as an old pop star. I expected I was going to win the Mega Millions, but it didn't work out. You, yeah. You're, I mean, you're, you're a guy who has hit the lottery, and it's so funny because.